Hey buns. So I finished the Endwalker main story quest. And if you finished it too, then you know. <laughs> if you know, you know. And I'm not going to be spoilery in this video today. Uh, I'm going to talk about my impressions in general thematic terms. I think there's a lot that I want to say about it that I won't need to be spoilery for. Uh, my initial very spoiler reactions will be on the second channel is up live the clips channel so okay um god i feel like i've been hit by a truck and at the same time it was so so beautiful it was spectacular it was heartbreaking it's so much more than just a pretty good video game expansion you know like this is a masterpiece of fiction from the storytelling, which on its own is incredible, but being immersed in this beautiful world with music that just really pulls at your heartstrings at exactly like, I'm amazed by how well they planned out every single moment to make it all perfect, make it all just right. This is an experience that asks and answers the question, why should we go on living? I don't think I've ever mentioned this on YouTube before, but there were some times in my life when I asked myself that question and I could not come up with an answer. And if it were not for the love and support of people around me, I don't think I would be here today. There were certainly some close calls what I can say is a really one really dark point in my life was around the time that I started playing Fall Fantasy 14. So for me, this has been a really powerful personal message in a meta way. This game gave me something to look forward to every day. Like it gave me something that I was suddenly excited about, I fell in love with and a time when I felt like I didn't have any passions left. I was really stagnating and I felt lost, but joining the Scions all those years ago, it changed my life. And that's before the, the YouTube channel, like the YouTube channel has been an incredible journey too. And so looking back on all this time that I've been playing and experiencing this saga, I'm just, I'm so grateful for it. I'm so grateful for all the joy and all the hope that it brought me when I needed it. And there have been, of course, other times during the past five, six years when I had horrible things happen. And this game was a refuge for me then as well. The community, friends I've made through this game are lifelong friends now. I can't imagine my life without some of the people I've met through this game. All that lives is destined to die. Love leads to loss. Every beginning has an end. As we've heard in the launch trailer, we struggle, oftentimes in vain. We will likely not be forgotten as the generations pass, records lost that we ever existed. Looking back on history, so many graveyards filled with nameless dead. It's easy to ask the question, what reason is there to prolong the pain, when at times it seems like the kinder fate would be putting those suffering out of their misery. If you look at the long, <laughs> the long game here, and uh, that's a question at the center of N. Walker's story, and N. Walker does answer it, because as you play, you're made to see that although yes, to live is to suffer, that isn't just a cynical take, like, oh, well, life is suffering, so we should just give up. It's that without sorrow, joy loses its flavor. Without strife, without something to fight for, something to energize you, there's just stagnation, just existing, but not really living. And it's so fitting to address this question at the end of the Hydaelyn Zodiac story arc, because the game in its own way does 
ask you to move on, to walk forward, to walk free towards the future. But I find myself resisting it, lamenting what's lost, like the memories of old friends, old characters. But lingering in the past is a sort of imprisonment. The only way to be free is to walk towards the future into all the limitless possibility that stretches out before us. But we need not walk that path alone. That's what In Walker is about. It's about looking at the end when it seems there's no path forward and then finding the strength to take that next step into the unknown. To trail the new path if you need to. And that's where the game is going now. We have to trail some new path. There were moments in the story when I had a dungeon or a trial and I just opened the party finder and so many of you buns joined my party right away. And uh, that was really heartwarming. Like it reminded me of times when for me in my real life, I was grieving when I was playing this game. Like I had stuff going on in my real life that was really bad. And I lost people close to me and this community came together and helped me move forward. A lot of that is actually mirrored in the story. Endwalker blatantly reminds you of all of the people who helped you along the way. It asks you to hold those memories in your heart, not as a reason to dwell in the past, but as a reason to carry on. Their voices lifting you up as a reminder of love for life, as the rising tide that lifts all boats. And as we look back on the Hydaelyn Zodiac Saga, we see that this is a message that has always been present. When Louis Haas said, where there is life, there is cause for hope. My heart is very heavy. <laughs> like, I woke up today and I just couldn't believe, damn, it still hurts so much. <laughs> like, Maybe I am extra. Okay, I admit I'm a lot, but it still hurts a lot. But it's uh, it's so bittersweet. I just can't help but wonder where our journey will lead it from here. At journey's end, will we meet again? Where will we go? How can we start over after everything that's happened? Like, we cannot simply go back to being a level one adventurer and, like, killing five ladybugs. You know, like, we're way past that now, and I, I can't help but ask, like, what could possibly invest me so deeply as the saga that, gosh, it's just, it's a lot. It's been so much to process, and as you can see, I'm kind of working through all the processing here on through this video, so it might be a little rambly, but um, I'm just, I'm hurt, man. I'm, I've never been hurt so bad by something fictional. Like, I thought Shadowbringers hurt me bad. <sighs> And Walker makes Shadowbringers look like child's play. Like, have you ever had a story hurt you so bad that you had to remind yourself that it's not real? <laughs> That's where I'm at right now. I'm just like, just remember that it's it's fiction. It's not really real. That is not helping at all. <laughs> it's really not. That has not helped a little bit. I know so many of you watched my playthrough and... A lot of y'all wrote me later and said that you were there with me every step of the way. When I cried, when I bawled, you cried. Like, there were times when, like, I, I God, I was crying so much. I was, my whole body was shaking. <laughs> so I guess all those clips will be on the second channel soon enough. But uh, you've been there. You have been there with me throughout this journey. I'm slowly, slowly getting more ready to take that next step into the unknown. I am eagerly anticipating the raid story, which appears to be a story in conjunction with the Highland Zodiac arc that I hope will... I can't say I hope it's going to make me feel better. <laughs> I doubt that's possible. Uh, I hope it will make me feel better. <laughs> I can't think of anything. I, okay, I just want it to make me feel better. That's all. <laughs> Even though I don't think that's gonna happen. 
<laughs> I know like I, maybe you're hearing me say like, oh, I'm so hurt and I'm heartbroken. Like, and it might sound like I'm being negative, but I swear, I, I don't think I would have wanted it any other way. It was such, such a beautiful and such a satisfying conclusion. It will not disappoint. If you're not done yet, uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed. God, but it will hurt. I think one of the reasons why it cut so deep is because it felt so personal, like I mentioned before, but um, I don't think you had to have gone through some of the things that I went through in my life to feel moved by this, because these are fundamental questions that we face being alive. These are fundamental truths about human experience that we all share and questions that we all have, like what does it mean to be alive? However fleeting it is to have life, however insignificant it may seem, it's still unique to us. We have our subjective experience and it's not disposable as all possibilities stretch out ahead in the dark. Where there's a will, there is a way. Life finds a way. Maybe I would be a little less heartbroken if I got some idea of what lies ahead, but I also feel like it was necessary to have this moment of silence, almost. Where it's unclear. What's most heartbreaking about this is that I guess it has all felt incredibly final. There's so many loose ends tied up, and I think it's natural to sort of pull back from that and wish for the comfort of the past and wish for the comfort of things that are familiar to you, but the adventurer spirit is all about embracing new horizons and being excited about the journeys to come and the adventures to come. And uh, so I'm in this kind of weird state where I'm, I feel like I'm torn between the past and future. So I think, uh, the raid story should shed some valuable light on that. Maybe the lion story too, we just know so little about it, it's hard to speculate. But uh, the dungeons were, wow, like we're... <laughs> I don't even know where to begin with the dungeons. I think that Inwalker has the most awesome, cool dungeons the game has seen so far, some of the most spectacular zones that the game has ever had so far, and uh, I don't, I can't, I'm, you might, you might see I'm struggling a little bit to say things without being spoilery, and I, I worry about, like, the, like, how can I make videos that are not spoilery? Because for Inwalker, um, pretty much every trial and dungeon is super spoilery, and the zones are spoilery too. Like, there's huge zones that are massively spoilery. So I don't know how I'm going to avoid this. I really don't. But um, I need to think on it. <laughs> it might not be possible. But, I mean, I understand there's a lot of people that watch that are, are not caught up. And I, I really don't want to ruin anything. So I will do my best here. But be careful on social media. Because a lot of this is just... Just seeing a screenshot could be a spoiler now. <sighs> What an experience. You that, hear that sigh I just said, look, this is what I've been doing, <laughs> like walking around my house, like every once in a while, I'll just be like making dinner and I'm just like. <sighs> like I'm finding myself when I get in game, going back to some areas that were important to the story and just standing there, like staring off into the distance. <sighs> like. I cannot under, understate how much of an impact this story had on me. And I know if you've gone through it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know exactly what, because guess what? When I go to those spots and I just stare off into the distance, there's a bunch of other people doing that too. <laughs> so it's like, we're all there, like just suffering together. And I'm just, it's, it's funny because, you know, it caused me so much pain, and yet I find myself returning to these very places that caused me the most pain. Because why? Because it feels great. It feels amazing to 
feel so alive, to feel so much passion, to feel the heartbreak, to feel the journey and like the memories of everything that you love, even if the curtain has fallen on the final chapter in the tale of this star. I feel immense gratitude to have been able to experience this game and this story. I feel a bit of trepidation about walking forward, taking the next step, but I also have faith in this writing team. Like I have faith in the dev team that we have more new cool adventures in store for us and uh that new story arc will begin in 6.1 and continue onwards so i have hope for the future i'm looking forward to the future but at the same time god <sighs> it cut deep it cut so deep and i loved every every second of it i think i've said my piece on this <laughs> i sure would like to hear your uh comments how you feel about it. I apologize if this ended up being really rambly and not specific enough. I couldn't be too specific because I didn't want to be spoilery, but I, I don't think that I needed to, to get my point across of the things that I'm feeling right now based on the overarching message of Inwalker. If you want my spoilery uh, first reactions that I said immediately after I finished the story, like I said before, check up live channel. It's the second channel for clips. Twitch, and I will slowly be uploading the uh, playthrough there in like long videos there too. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> in the meantime, I've pretty much just been occupying myself by uh, obsessing over the music and trying to learn the songs and singing the songs of, of Inwalker. And um, yeah, okay, I I've rambled enough. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. And um, be careful on social media if you haven't finished Inwalker yet. Okay. Now, if you did like this video, please consider supporting the channel on Patreon or on Twitch. You can also support the channel for free just by clicking the subscribe button or by sharing this video with your fellow Warriors of Light. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.